why is it uh, people fall in love and uh, get married that a few years later they hate each other? It's ridiculous. Why did you, why did you love, love somebody if you're going to turn around and hate them? I mean, not everyone. I don't. I've been married four times. I'm so madly in love with all of them. And I get along with all of them. But most people don't. They didn't even go out there and kill the person. God, heaven. That's ridiculous. Here's a funny thing in human nature. Why is it we get married? We get fall in love, I should say, and we get married. Then we turn out hating our women. Why? We didn't hate them to start with, that's for sure. Nothing changed. Except our feelings for them. God. It gets so bad at times you want to... Some guys want to kill their wives. Don't know why. I've been married four times. I certainly... I get along with all of them. I certainly would not want to kill them. Years ago when I went to university, I um, was studying at one stage crystallography. I thought it was a fascinating subject. Totally practical, but that's beside the point. That's what universities do. They talk about things that are totally impractical. But anyway, we run across this equation called the Bragg diffraction equation. I thought that was really fascinating. I got thinking about that and I wound up when I come out of university, I went up uh, to Yukon and I was a, um, a mining surveyor up there. Okay. Uh, and uh, I was living in the staff house. And along came uh, one of the, mostly the head uh, of the mining corporation I worked for. Uh, it, he was their um, uh, head geologist. That was a head geologist. And he was going to do a magnetometer survey up there. Basically what it is, is they put a co uh, cable on the ground they pass the current through it, and they get readings all along to see if there's any deflection in the magnetic compass. And I thought, yeah, it's pretty primitive, isn't it? So uh, talking with this guy, I realized that they'd spend a million dollars on the last mine that we worked at, locating a bit of uh, carbon in the ground. They were, it was actually graphite from an old uh, creek bed. <laughs> so I says, God, it's supposed to be something better than that. And I got thinking about this crystallography. And I thought, well, all this stuff is always associated with crystal. Because we were in the lead zinc. Our mind was there. So to locate more of this sort of stuff, how you need to find the crystals for it. Like Galena. So I thought, ah, oh, that's nice cubical crystal, and that is always going to have the same D, because uh, the equation that I was thinking of was out of this crystallography class called the Bragg Diffraction Equation, and uh, Colonel Bragg, I think he was a colonel, uh, discovered this back in 18-something. Uh, he was American... Uh, American Colonel, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, he discovered this this thing to use for analyzing crystals. Now the n lambda is equal to 2d sine theta, where lambda is the wavelength, and uh, n is any positive integer. Uh, 2d sine theta, and now the d is uh, the distance, uh, the interatomic distance uh, in the uh, atoms. That make up this crystal, and uh, uh, 
science data. And that, that's the angle that the incident ray hits it at. So you get this ray coming in, coming down and hitting this crystal and being reflected off if that is a crystal that satisfies the D. So I was saying, this would probably work. So I told him about it, and he was fascinated. And he says, I had to see the head chemist. <laughs> I don't know what a chemist is going to know about it, because he wouldn't know bugger all. But uh, as it turned out, I was getting a bit staky up there. You know, I've been up there too long without women, you know. A person gets that way at times. It was up in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the Yukon, and uh, 